The Seminole football team got back to work early on Friday morning at 5.30 a.m. to avoid the rain here in Tallahassee. Welcome outside here to the practice fields. I'm Scott Code for Seminoles.com. One thing we've noticed this week at practice is Kelvin Benjamin. He's a young man that's very hard not to notice. 6'6", six, six, weighs about 240 pounds at the wide receiver position. When you talk to head coach Jimbo Fisher, he's very impressed with the way Kelvin Benjamin has gotten in shape and says he can be a real big threat for the Seminoles this season. Burst off the ball into his route, his endurance. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he looks at his body and his body quickness when he gets in and out of that cut now, it's more like a little guy. I've been, I mean, he, he has, a, it, today he drifted off a couple, he had him right there and was trying to run with him beforehand, but I like where he's coming. I like his attitude and where he's, where he's pushing himself right now. Been very pleased. I mean, he's got a long ways to go. I've been very pleased at uh, where he's gotten his body to and how he's picked it up a lot better. Being a lot more dependable on his routes and where he's supposed to be and how he gets there. Because you're not tired. Like anything, when you get tired, is don't do as good work. <laughs> the Seminoles are an experienced veteran team this year. Sure, there are some sophomores and freshmen who will play key roles and have an instant impact this season, of course. But when you talk to EJ Manuel, he noted that the biggest thing may be you have 10 players that have already graduated and earned their degrees from Florida State. That's going to pay dividends this season. As far as it being a true program, for sure, uh, having registered seniors, seniors, at least I think more than 10 guys already having a grad, uh, you know, a, grad, a degree from Florida State and still having this year to play football. That's awesome. I don't think. We've had it like that for a while. We've had guys that graduated, but not more than 10. You know, I don't know the exact number, but that's really good. So when that's when you start talking about a program, having the senior leadership, having young guys that can still play almost just as good as the seniors. You know what I mean? So um, being able to have those guys as substitutes and things like that is going to be really good. Oh, yeah, you know, we're, we're older. You know, we're veterans. You know, uh, we know what to do. You know, it's, it's, it's all about going out and doing it and, uh, and knowing mentally what, what, what you have to do and your responsibility. We're, we're trying to – it's a little things that, that are going to help us. You know, watching film, we've been watching a whole lot of film the whole summer. Um, just uh, knowing where we're supposed to be our responsibility and, and teaching those young guys, you know, where to be at and their responsibilities as well. The Seminoles will hold their very first two-a-day of the fall on Saturday morning. Practice scheduled to begin around 9.30, and our very own Jonathan Shalasi will be out here to provide you all all the complete coverage. Great single game and great season tickets are now on sale by visiting the ticket page on Seminoles.com or by calling the Florida State Ticket Office at one 888 fsu Knoll. Help us make Doak the best environment in college football. We need you here in the fall. So on Friday morning, I'm Scott Kodak reporting for Seminoles.com.